COVID-19 has laid bare the systemic failures of justice in our own country. It has shown how economic inequality can literally be a matter of life and death. The crisis is a wake-up call for us as a nation. But we are confronting a global crisis, a pandemic, and that raises questions of global justice as well. The effects of COVID-19 as it gains a foothold in the poorer parts of the world will be even more catastrophic. Many poor countries will be more vulnerable to the disease and less able to respond. For countries with extreme poverty, an economic lockdown can mean choosing to let people die from hunger instead of dying from the virus. So while we certainly have duties of justice to our compatriots, we must not forget the needs of strangers. But some people might think that in times of extreme crisis, when our national resources and capacities are already stretched to the limit, Doing more for foreigners means doing less for our own. That is, it is us or them, and we should take care of our own first. So, is global justice a luxury we cannot afford in the time of COVID-19? I would like to suggest two responses to this challenge. First, even if there is a genuine conflict between our national and global duties of justice, this does not mean that we should automatically abandon concerns of global justice entirely. It is clear that we owe much to our fellow Americans, and it is necessary that we prioritize the needs of our most vulnerable citizens and residents. Still, our general approach cannot be as simple as America first at any cost. If there's a genuine moral conflict, then there'll be no easy answer. But we have to confront the hard question we have to be aware of the values at stake, the moral, the moral trade-offs that we have to make and to choose and act in ways that are most consistent with our own commitments as a democracy. But there is a second response. The us versus them rhetoric is a false dilemma. It is in fact in our own national interest to cooperate globally and to do our part to contain the virus everywhere. No one is safe so long as there's anywhere on earth where the virus is still raging. Among other things, this means that when we do find a vaccine, it is both an imperative of justice and good for us, that it is globally available and affordable for all. It also means that now is not the time to withdraw and to withhold support from international institutions that are coordinating global efforts to fight the virus. Global crisis defies national boundaries. No border wall can stop a pandemic. There is no us or them, no national interest versus global justice. We are in this together. We imperil ourselves, we allow others to be imperiled. So this present global crisis should not make us turn inwards and think that we can go it alone as a country. A pandemic of this proportion should remind us that as long as we remain on the surface of the earth, we cannot escape each other's fate. Our national interest in containing the virus should compel us to do the right thing globally.